This Shabbat is known as Shabbat Nachamu, the Shabbat of comfort. It's the Shabbat immediately following Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of the Jewish year. Shabbat Nachamu gets its name from the opening phrase of this week's Haftarah, the first of the seven Haftarot of Consolation, which we read between Tisha B'Av and Rosh Hashanah. Those seven weeks are sometimes compared to the seven weeks of the counting of the Omer. In our esoteric tradition, the Omer represents the period of time that God drew closer and closer to Mount Sinai and to our encounter with the divine there. The seven weeks between Tisha B'Av and Rosh Hashanah in that same tradition are seen as the period where we ascend closer and closer to God, culminating in the High Holidays. This year's High Holidays are unprecedented. They are different than anything any of us have ever experienced at any time in our lives. And yet, the High Holidays are coming. They are seven weeks away. Adapting our services so that you can fully experience High Holidays, even though it's going to be a very different experience, is the most important thing on our minds right now. Our staff and volunteers, our clergy, are working very hard to provide the best possible experience. We're not entirely sure exactly how that's going to look yet. There will be, of course, virtual services, and they are going to be more visually interesting and pleasing and engaging than what we're able to accomplish right now. In order to do that, we've had to secure new equipment and new software and upgrade our internet capacity. And we're going to have to also have people who are trained to use all of that and to stand behind the scenes and make it all happen. On this Shabbat Nachamu, on this Shabbat of comfort, I want you to be comforted and to feel comfortable that we're doing all that we possibly can to address all of the concerns and all of the problems and all of the anxiety that goes along with this period leading up to the High Holidays. We've got some new experiences in the month of Elul, not only for our youth and our family, but for people of all ages and all backgrounds. Most importantly, we need your partnership to make it happen. Please don't hesitate to be in touch with your ideas and your support for this unknown and previously unexplored pathway between now and Rosh Hashanah. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom, Umivorach, a blessed and a peaceful Shabbat.